All right, hi there, this is Charlie Aquino and welcome to another tutorial from easyslides.com. And in this tutorial, I want to show you a very simple effect that you could do in Crochet Producer, wherein we're going to add a vignette to a photo. Now, of course, if you've used Crochet Producer before, you already know that there is a vignette options in the Layers tab. Let me show you what that looks like. So we double click on the first layer and we go to the Layers tab the editing tab so you see here a vignette option that you have here the problem with this vignette option is that even if you add an elliptical vignette okay in your image sometimes it doesn't give you the effect that you want because uh, it can be harsh sometimes the vignette can be very very harsh and what you want to achieve is a very soft vignette sort of like you just add a dark background so you just want to darken the edges of your image Okay, normally, I do that in Photoshop or in Lightroom whenever I post-process a photo. But if you want to do it from within ProShow Producer, you can actually do it. Okay, So let me show you how that is done. So starting with a new slide, let's drag a photo. For example, this one. It's a photo of my nephew. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to make this photo fill the entire frame. Okay. And then we are going to add a new gradient layer. Here we're going to select Masks Preset and a Radial Type. We're going to select the first one. So here we're going to adjust uh, the sliders for the colors for a little bit. So we click on the white slider and drag it all the way to the right. Okay until you achieve uh, this kind of effect. So it's a bigger white background there and then click OK. So now you've added a new gradient layer to your slide and what we're going to do is we're going to convert that gradient layer into an adjustment layer. Make sure that you have the intensity grayscale selected and invert it. Okay. So let's see how this looks like. So if you play here, it doesn't have much of an effect yet on our photo okay we don't we don't see the vignette happening yet so what we're going to do we're going to the editing tab okay and here we are going to adjust the white point slider all the way down to negative 100 percent now if we look at our show again you see that we already have that dark vignette on the sides of our photo okay now the great thing about this effect is that you could alternately use a white vignette for that. So all you have to do is just drag it all the way up to 100% and just click on the play and now you have a lighter vignette on your photo. Okay. One other cool thing about this is that your vignette stays the same regardless of what effect you place on the image. Let's say for example this image, I want to zoom it to 120%. Okay. And you will see that even if it zooms, the vignette stays the same. Although it's not obvious here, let's try to get this back to the dark version. So move that to negative 100. Let's go to the effects tab and let's just uh, see that there. So the vignette stays the same as dark while your main image zooms. So that is the tutorial that I want to show to you and I hope that you could apply this to many of your shows. Okay, It's a very simple yet very effective effect where you can apply a very subtle vignette to your photos. Okay, Have a nice day and see you on the next tutorial. Bye!